Hey everyone, welcome to a new video and today we are going to take a look at this void mine and actually understand what this Pokemon does. Because there was a lot of confusion when I was reading the translations for this Pokemon. There was still a lot of confusion last night when I was testing it out on stream. But after the stream I took uh, some time, I just tried to experiment with this Pokemon and I actually finally understand what is this Pokemon for? So let's get into it. Now, yesterday on stream, one of the things that we tested was this passive, especially the last part of the passive where it says, except itself, our dark type Pokemon in battle increases 20% speed of all of our dark type Pokemon. So it's a messy translation, it's a messy English over here. But guess what? What happens over here, every time that there's a dark type Pokemon mentioned in this Pokemon itself, it's not a dark type Pokemon. It's actually a dark Pokemon, a shadow Pokemon. And what are shadow Pokemon or dark Pokemon over here? If we go to the Pokedex, we can see we'll just take a look at the overlord sections over here. So basically, dark Pokemon, there are only three right now. We have the Shadow Lugia over here. This is considered or Dark Lugia. That's why I'm, I keep saying Shadow because it's a Shadow Pokemon in a way. Uh, we also have the Dark Hoho -Ho itself and also the Shadow Mewtwo, which, well, it can be Dark Mewtwo, Shadow Mewtwo, whatever you guys want to say it. And these are the only three dark Pokemon I have tested with multiple Pokemon just to be sure. More specifically, one of the most requested ones or two of the most requested ones. One of them was the Primal Dialga since it has this dark type appearance, this, uh, this shadow appearance. But sadly, it's not considered the shadow Pokemon. And the other one was Flare since it also has this kind of a dark type appearance. But sadly, it's also not considered a shadow. Pokemon. So, if we get into a battle with this Pokemon, you guys can already see, remember the passive saying that it gives 20% speed to all of the dark type Pokemon. And as we can see over here, we have a speed icon over here on this Ho-Ho. So what this basically means is that this Ho-Ho over here, it's actually getting 20% speed from the passive Avoid Mine. And if I put any other dark type Pokemon over here, as you guys can see, putting any other dark type Pokemon over here, in this case Primal Dialga, it does not have the speed icon, which means it's not benefiting from the passive of the Void Mine. Sadly, it's only the Shadow or the Dark Pokemon. So this Void Mine has around 70,000 speed, while these two have around 12k, so this Void Mine will just move a lot of time. So let's take a look at the first skill. Basically, it says that, uh, well, it will uh, have damage reduction applied to the target that we attack. It says over here, reduce own and targets uh, damage caused by that 90%. So you are not going to deal much damage, but neither is the enemy. And as you guys could notice before, when I use this Z skill over here, this will uh, randomly make one of my allied Pokemon move. In my previous uh, clip, it was Dialga, and this time it was Ho Ho. Doesn't matter if they are dark type, does not matter their typing at all. They will just move over here. So we could just go over here and uh, attack with our other Pokemon that will move after this. On our second skill we have Echoed Voice that is basically a group type attack and each stack that the enemy has, let's try to use this, as we can see we actually apply the stack of this on Hoopa this time and each stack that they have we will just do 50% more damage. And even though I'm not seeing that much damage increase, but that should be fine, really. So I just had to change the team really quick since the Ho-Ho was making everybody burn and we could not see the damages uh, that we were doing properly. As we can see, Hoopa had a Guardian Soul, so he did not get the stack of that uh, group move. So we will just do it again. Hoopa has a stack. It was just a little bit of damage. It wasn't anything much. And it's like, as you can see, it's not that big of a deal. Now, what happens is if we use this uh, Z echoed voice, we will apply the stack before, but then again, doesn't seem to matter because this is not supposed to be a damaging Pokemon. This, uh, the, the skills that this guy have is mostly to be a support, really. And when I said the skills that this guy have, please do not be triggered in the comments because this is basically Luzamin, it's a girl. It's my bad on the way I say things, okay? 
Let's go to our skill number three. It's a poison type skill. So remember, this will not affect steel type Pokemon. Steel type Pokemon are immune to poison. It says that it will greatly increase all allied dark type Pokemon action points when a crit happens. I'm assuming that there's a crit over here. As we can see, we did crit. We increase the action of the dark Pokemon, which is the shadow Pokemon that we explained before, and not actually the action of the dark type Pokemon. So our Mewtwo got to move, feels good, man. But then our Primer Dialga did, actually didn't move at all. And if we look at the Z Poison Jab, I honestly don't know what else this does because the translation seems to be exactly the same with less skill power, which makes no sense. So, I, I mean, nothing else going on. It just makes the our Shadow Pokemon again moving. And now going to our last skill, the ultimate, it says that it greatly increases all other dark type Pokemon action points except itself. And again, this will be considered the shadow Pokemon and not dark types. It will apply also some tiers of debuffs to the enemy saying that you will increase your damage to the enemy by 50%. But as we, like, as we already have seen, this Pokemon is not here to do damage. So we are not very interested on the damage amplifiers that this Pokemon has. And as we could see, we just used the ultimate and this Mewtwo uh, decided to move so we can do our stuff. Even though it would be interesting to see a full a dark type team like I have over here, I don't think it would be viable on the English version at least. On the other versions, it could be very fun. It's just because a uh, English version having so many strike cards and this Pokemon would actually need to move in order to provide all the buffs. And one of the things that we can do over here, well, I got I was confused over there, but all these Pokemon have access to heavy armor. So these Pokemon will for sure be like very tanky with all of these buffs that we have. Even though this was a full power all the this is like a 16 million Hoopa or something like that. And this uh, Void Mine survived because of this team itself, the Ho-Ho, the, all of the heavy armors, etc. All of that damage reduction, all of that is very damn nice. And then this Ho-Ho, believe it or not, this Ho-Ho is actually a, a very good thing to, to play. Like, he does very decent damage, even though now, like, the Hoopa is just back to full HP. But it's okay, we just, we just fly, we just do our stuff. Uh, this Hoopa will basically just burn to death, and it should be fine. I mean, I would love if the Hoopa gets burned to death, like today. But I don't think that will happen. Well, even though I was a little bit unlucky with the confusion on that battle display, the question should be, should you guys get the Void Mine? And my answer is, at least the base form Void Mine, as I showed in a previous video. If we go over here to the Legendary Journey, on the Legendary Journey of this Void Mine, you can unlock this Wish Star, which is the Beast Star. In battle, increases all of our Pokemon's 20% tenacity can be stacked. This means, and one of the reasons why I survived in that battle, is because all of my three Pokemons had this Wish Star, so all of them had increased tenacity, and when they were trying to attack this uh, Void uh, Luzamine, what happened is that she could not get critted. That's what the tenacity means, like increases the strength of your Pokemon so that the enemy has a hard time critting you. They will have much less chance to crit your Pokemon if you have a high tenacity on your Pokemon. And since this Wish Star stacks, this means that you can have one on each Pokemon of your team and you will have a total of 60% tenacity. So that's the only reason why I would tell you guys to get the Void Mine, not the Overlord itself, but at least the base one so that you guys can unlock the legendary journey. And this is it from me today. Don't forget you guys have a Discord link in the description. You have a Facebook. If you guys need coaching, also feel free to message me. All the links are in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys on the next video.